It's my great honor to be with your uh, end course. I'm going to a little bit talk about uh, deep cranial syndromes. My name is Soshi Uchida from Wakamas Hospital of the University of Occupational and Environment Health Japan. This is my disclosure. This is my disclosure. My talk will be the anatomy, mechanism of the entrapment site, and the clinical presentation, and how to diagnose and how to treat them. Deep gluteal syndrome is a common source of the growing pain and posterior hip pain resulting from the entrapment of sciatic nerve and posterior femoral cranial nerve in the deep gluteal space. Other potential causes of the DGS are space occupied regions as well as posterior uh, op operative or post traumatic scarring surrounding the piriformis, obturator internus muscle, and proximal hamstrings and sciatic nerves. Uh, this slide is showing a posterior aspect of the pelvic. This is the uh, uh, greater sciatic foramen, and uh, it, this is the ilium, and this is the uh, isium, and this is the sacrum. This is uh, a sacrotuberous ligament, and the sacrospinous ligament as well. Obliterator internus muscle is originated uh, on the medial surface of the obturator foramen, and the isium near the membrane and the limb of the pelvis. It exists the pelvic cavity through the lesser sciatic foramen. And the obturator externus originated from anterior surface of the obturator membrane and the bony boundaries to the obturator foramen and the inserted to the trochanteric fossa. It's innervated from obturator nerves. Uh, this is the superior gemellus and the inferior gemellus. This is the piriformis muscle. Uh, it exists the pelvis through the greater sciatic foramen to the insert the greater trochanteric of the femur. Uh, this is the sciatic nerves. Uh, it passes beneath the piriformis and through the greater sciatic foramen existing in the pelvis. And here you can see that this is the posterior femoral cranial nerves. It innervates to the skin of the posterior surface of the thigh and the legs, as well as the skin of the perineum. Uh, this is the superior gluteal nerves. Superior gluteal nerve is a nerve that originated in the pelvis and supplies to the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus and the tensor fascia lata and the piriformis muscle. Inferior gluteal nerve is the main motor neuron innervates as the gluteal maximum muscles, uh, which is responsible for the movement of the gluteal maximus in the activities requiring the hip to the extent of the, the thigh, such as climbing the stairs. Uh, this is, uh, you can see, this is the pudendal nerve, is the main nerve of the perineum. It carries the sensation from the external genitalia of both sexes and the skin around the anus and the perineum, as well as the motor supplies to the venous, various pelvic muscle. Deep gluteal syndrome is classified according to the locations, uh, intra pelvis and extra pelvis, and the DGS is also classified uh, according to the uh, mechanism, the primary and the secondary. Primary DGS including the piriformis split and the fibrovascular band. And the secondary DGS including the issue of femoral impingement, femoral torsions, <coughs> greater trochanter and snapping issues, um, hamstring syndrome and the post-operative DGS. Our study reported post-operative DGS after hip arthroscopic surgeries. The incidence of post-operative DGS after hip arthroscopic surgeries was 0.9%. The predictor uh, of uh, post-operative DGS are female sex, general joint tracheitis, multiple surgeries, and hip dysplasia. There are several reports uh, indicating the multiple location of the nerve entrapment. Piriformis, fibrovascular band, obturator internus, isofemoral impingement, and hamstrings. Some of the patients of the DGS have a, a two or three location of the nerve entrapment. Seventy of the percent of the people with the piriformis muscle is pierced by the part or or 
all of the sciatic nerves. The several variations occur, but the most common types of the anomaly is beaten type B, which is when the common peroneal nerves pierce the, the piriformis muscle. Sciatic nerves abnormalities anatomy can be assessed by the MRI imaging. This MRI showing uh, uh, the superior division of the sciatic nerve. Here you can see the piriform is splitted and the sciatic nerves crossing the, between the two piriform is muscle. A four or five level examination is mandatory in the diagnosis of the complex disorder of the fem uh, the hips. Examination will uh, adequately assess level 1, uh, osteochondral region, level 2, capsule level uh, layer, uh, muscular tenderness level 3, and uh, neurovascular uh, layer level 4. And also, in addition, the kinematic chain is also assessed and helping to the direct operate test to, and the treatment modalities. This slide is showing a critical key in the evaluation. Take a comprehensive history and physical examination is very important. Make a complete assessment. And uh, imaging T3, TFX MRI, and ultrasound guided injection is also important. Understand the differential diagnosis of the rule out or L spine disorders. This is a, these are key posterior hip pain history questions. So psychological screenings, intrapelvic pathologies, including gynecological history, past or abnormal surgery, and the sacroiliac joint. And the pain medial or lateral to the ischium, and the pain greater uh, in the sitting or walking, and the pain region, maximum origin, and the piriformis, and uh, SI joint and um, prior the injection and outcome short or leg long. Physical examination tests require for extra articular posterior, posterior hip pains, long stride, short, short stride gait assessment, palpitation in the sitting position, active hamstrings test, isofemoral impingement test, and a passive piriformis stretch test, and active piriformis test. And the muscle strength can be assessed for abduction. Uh, this is a piriformis test uh, with uh, the patient uh, uh, lateral decubitus position. Examiners uh, palpate the piriformis and the patient drives the heel into the examining the table, thus initiating the external hip rotations uh, while actively the AB ductions and uh, external rotating against the resistance. If he, uh, patient complains the pain, This scheme showing type 1 bridge type bands, compressible. Compressible bridge type bands limiting the movement of the sciatic nerve from anterior to the posterior. Adhesive horses strap bands uh, which bind strongly to the sciatic nerve structures, the anchoring it single di directions. Isofemoral impingement and the hamstrings uh, syndromes can be assessed by the physical examination. Patient performs active knee flexion against the resistance uh, with the knee extensions. And the normal strength without pain may be observed. The patient performs uh, active knee flexion against the resistance with the knee at 30 degrees. Weakness and the recreation of the symptoms in this position is positive. 
Hamas resistance can compress the sciatic neuropathies as well uh, as uh, uh, posterior femoral cutaneous nerves. Treatment DGS is non-surgical the medication, NSAID, and muscle relaxants, and GABA pension, and physiotherapies, and injections, and surgery. A physiotherapy program should include the stretching of the maneuvers and aimed to the external rotators and the piriform stretch or fear involving, uh, involves the pressing of the hip in the flexion, the AV duction, and the internal rotations. So, ultra sound guided injection is uh, modern three. This is the piriformis muscle, and uh, this is the femur, and this is the sciatic nerves. The, this is the uh, uh, needle that penetrates into the piriformis and just above the sciatic nerves and the posterior femoral. Pe Sciatic nerves and the posterior femoral cutaneous nerves here. So, after ultra guided injections, pain completely relieved. Several studies reported endoscopic treatment of sciatic nerves of the DGS. Dr. Harmachin reported endoscopic DGS is at a supine position, 70 degrees standard on long arthroscopies. Reese reported in a series of 26 patients undergoing endoscopic DGS surgeries, 19 reported good clinical outcomes, but did not sit pain and were able to sit in a chair for the more than 30 minutes, but seven patients better but required continued narc narcotic use after surgery. This ephemeral impingement, IFI, was described in three cases following osteotomy or arthroplasty of the hips by Johnson. The pain and discomfort was relieved after resection of lesser trochanter. Large graphic parameters is very useful to diagnose the IFI. Isofemoral distance, the measure on the standing AP views, uh, if the IFD is less than 17 mm, and the quadrat femoris space, QFS, measured at the smallest space to the passage of the QF muscle defined by the MRI, the QFS less than 8 mm, we have to consider the IFI. So IFI test was performed with the patient in the lateral decubitus positions. Uh, the symptomatic hip was passively taken into the extension, and the positive test findings as a reproduction of the posterior hip pain and the numbness in the extension with the neutral or adducted position. Hamstring syndrome is a atraumatic insertional tendinopathy of the proximal hamstrings, in which there was formation of the fibrous tissue, also resulting in the compression of the adjacent sciatic nerve and or posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. Fifty years old female long distance runners presented us complaining left hip pain and buttock pain for the past seven, 13 years. And she had a, a positive a fiber and dial test and fadia test and IFI test and hamstring stretch test. This fat suppression of the MRI showing uh, high intensity of the pro proximal hamstring insertions <coughs> and the diffuse high intensity of the quadrilateral femoris muscle. We performed the endoscopic hamstring repair and the IFI surgeries at a prone position under general anesthesia. Uh, this movie showing endoscopic uh, uh, technique of the release adhesions. Uh, he can, you can see the sciatic nerves, sciatic nerve here. And uh, this is the ischium tuberosity. Uh, this is the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. It feels like uh, the beak. And uh, you can see here the posterior femoral cutaneous nerves are retracted because it, uh, there, there are a fibrovascular band here. And then uh, we evaluated the hamstrings. It looks like uh, not healthy, but if cuts the uh, uh, hamstrings and we identify the, the tear 
the partial undersurface thickness tendon abrasion pusta region was found, and we performed the suture anchor fixation. Here you can see, and the knot tying was performed, and also we uh, retracted the quadrat femoris muscle, and we exposed the uh, lesser trochanter, and then uh, we performed the uh, lesser trochanterectomy to decompress the sciatic nerves. Uh, Post-operative x-ray sh showing a uh, uh, good rejection of the uh, lesser trochanter. In, con in conclusion, be aware of extraarticular posterior hip pathologies. Good examinations and special testing is uh, useful. MRI and ultrasound-guided injection are useful to diagnose and treat patient with DGS. Endoscopic rejection of the lesser trochanter is less invasive and can provide favorable clinical outcome for the symptomatic patient with IFI. Thank you for your attention.